swear that I'll stay. How unbelievably exciting is it to get some seeds in the greenhouse? You might be able to see my breath. It's a little chilly today and it's super wet, but it is April 15th and I promised myself that I was going to have the first of my starter seeds in this greenhouse by April 15th and we did it. Last night I stayed up super late and I got peppers, tomatoes, and some types of sunflowers planted into little pots that I had inside. I have not finished my grow boxes yet. So today on my schedule is to do some more of my grow boxes. I'll probably make a few every day this week. And then by the end of the weekend, when I'm getting to planting the rest of my seeds, I should have all my grow boxes done. And I'll show you how I'm going to do my seed blocking to do that, which will be a brand new venture for me this year, rather than using so many plastic pots. I did use up some plastic pots for things like sunflowers, a few of our little veggie starters for our tomatoes and peppers, but I plan on planting more in the grow boxes as well. And so I just wanted to use the ones I had, make use of them. I bought them previously. I don't have that many, so it's not too big of a deal. And then the rest are gonna go into their plastic free boxes and we're gonna give that a try. So this year, our goal is to grow all of the produce that we're going to eat for the entire year for our family of four, starting our seeds in this greenhouse, which we built ourselves. You saw us do previously about a year and a half ago on our channel. Since I wanna document this entire first year journey, I'm going to be starting by planting a whole bunch of sunflowers. They are my absolute favorite thing to grow. We have teddy bear sunflowers, gigantuous sunflowers, and giant sun golds. And we're gonna be planting hundreds of these on the property. But I did wanna get a few started inside because as you know, last year the birds ate our seeds. So I'm going to sprout a bunch of these and then do a whole other grouping in some other pots as well. And then I planted some peppers just to get some started early. Habanero, early call wonder, early sensation, golden call wonder. We have the YOLO red bell peppers, jalapeno, sweet banana, Caribbean hot, cayenne, early California bell peppers, and then we have a selection of different types of tomatoes. We have Romas, Heinz, cherry tomatoes, beef steaks, and a Nova Scotia tomato. So I guess you can keep in mind while you're watching these portions of our series that we'll be doing between now and the end of fall, showing our growing season of our very first year, year here in Nova Scotia. We used to have a pretty great garden just in our backyard in Ontario. We kind of went with the go big or go home. We had about a 40 by 40 foot garden and we just tried absolutely everything. We planted directly in the ground and we just got what we got. And we had such a plentiful garden with really no green gardening experience whatsoever when we started that we were giving produce away to everyone in our town. We had so much produce. Now I do know that even though we are in the same growing zone here in Nova Scotia, you've seen that our weather is not the same here. We have a very wet climate. We have kind of sometimes four seasons in one day our growing season runs from a completely different months of the year. We would typically have been starting these inside end of January, early February, and then getting them outside way earlier in the spring, like very soon, I would say second week of um, April, we would have been getting them outside in Ontario and just watching for some last minute frost dates. But here, our last frost is gonna be somewhere around the first week of June, maybe even like June 10th or so, I'm seeing online. And so we're starting here much later. So we do get that gardener itch way earlier than we would just because we've come from Ontario, but I'm so unbelievably excited. This has been a long awaited project since building the greenhouse and having our health setbacks last year where we didn't get the garden in the ground. So this year we're doing it. We're gonna plot garden on the ground because we're doing the barn this year, we're not going to build our raised beds. We're going to do just a ground plot garden, do a whole bunch of land tilling, and get as much in the ground as we possibly can starting our own seeds. Again, typically we would buy some veggie starters and this year we're gonna try to do everything from seed. If none of my seeds sprout in this greenhouse and it's a complete failure, I'm not going to sacrifice having a garden and I will go and buy some veggies, but I will let you know if that happens. I definitely won't go buy veggies and just let you know and say, oh, I did them from seed. If this fails, you know, I will show you the good, the bad and the ugly and what trials and tribulations we'll have growing in our province here and show you our whole thing as we go. I'm just so excited to be able to come in here today with some of my first seeds and get them on the shelf. I'm gonna add some water. It's actually raining today. And we were supposed to go over today to Philip's mom and dad's place because we're gonna be setting up a greenhouse for them so that they can do their own growing on their own property this year. They have one acre of property and mom and dad have lived in a condo for the past, I think about 10 years or so. And so they haven't had the opportunity to do a garden. Yesterday, mom planted a willow patch 
because she grows willow to be able to make baskets with. And I want to be able to take them over a greenhouse so that they can do some of their own veggies and just tinker outside on their new property. Because I think how lovely that they have that beautiful space, a greenhouse beside the ocean. Yes, please. So this is what my greenhouse is looking like right now. I have lots of other greenhouse things to bring out today. And again, I'm going to make a ton of these grow boxes and then fill them with soil with my soil blocker. We're still using the tools in here because we need to make the rest of our boxes. And Philip is still mulching some wood. So we are going to have a fuller ground in here. And then he's going to be mulching tons more right in this area. He has a whole bunch of trees down in here so that this area can be our garden plot. He's even taking trees out back there. And then we're also going to be having some of our garden out front here where our orchard hill is. And my hope this year is that I can find some more apple trees to plant so we can have a few more planted because we want to have a bigger orchard than what we already have going on. So I want to show you what else Philip's been working on because while I've been working on some secret projects inside and working on a few final things in the bathroom, Philip has been working on adding more horse fencing so we can have the horse fence done before we start the barn in about a month's time. So you can see that Philip's been doing a whole bunch of cleanup for the wood shelter that came down and he's been working on adding the rest of the fencing to this side of the property. It looks so good. He's left this area here open for us to be able to walk the horses out because where we're gonna do our big gate, we've just put some boards across from now since our big metal gates aren't here yet. Okay, it's still raining, but it's not raining that bad. So I think we're gonna head over and try to put this greenhouse together. I just have to get it to the truck. Sure glad I got a pickup truck. So luckily it wasn't raining too, too bad because we just had to go four minutes down the road. They literally live four minutes down the road. And we're here today because we are going to put in a greenhouse for mom and dad. Condo living just isn't it when you can have a greenhouse right at the ocean like this. Like look at this amazing property. They have a whole acre here and they have plans for different things. They just discovered they have blueberries on their property, apple trees. Mom just planted a willow pad so she could do her basket making, which I'll show you. And Cosway sent us yet another gift for the English family. We absolutely have had a blast working with them. And it is so kind of them that they sent us a greenhouse. And since we already have one at our house, we thought that we could share the growing love and bring one over for mom and dad. Now this isn't a tiny greenhouse. This is a 10 by 20 arch dome greenhouse that mom and dad can grow absolutely anything their hearts desire on this one acre. This is plenty enough room for them and they'll have room to grow literally in this next year as it will kind of sit here. We'll be able to take down the tart part for winter for them since you know we get pretty good winds here, but over the warm seasons, they'll be able to grow as many fruits and vegetables as they want. So we're gonna try to put this where it's going to go on the property. I think it should be pretty easy to move because it's very light. And then we'll be able to attach all the straps that are on the inside. And then I'll show you how the doors and windows and everything work. But this thing is amazing. Oh 
There's a bug net in it. That's amazing. We definitely know we need that for bug season. So inside the actual tarp that goes on it, there's a bunch of straps. You can see the white ones on the inside. In a minute when we get it in place, I'll show you how we're gonna connect it. You just attach it to all the poles. That way it stays in place and your tarp isn't just gonna up and go like a kite. I'm gonna roll the door up. So all these little squares are obviously windows on the side that can open and they're screened so you can have airflow. And then there's a door on the front and a door on the back, which I think is great because mom could even leave it open sometimes if it's getting too warm. It's gonna tighten itself up when we actually put all the straps together. So this greenhouse turned out so good. We're gonna let the sun kind of heat it up a little bit. It's already getting warm inside. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. And mom already had some raised garden beds that were here from the previous owners. And so tomorrow we're gonna take some of the soil out of them and then carry them into the greenhouse for mom. And we're gonna get some anchors on this now so that obviously it doesn't blow away because they get pretty good winds here, especially at the water's edge. But look at how neat this is. So good. Looks amazing. We're working on just like tightening it all up and getting it all in place for them. So those four things are windows on that side. So there's a door on both ends, windows four on this side and then four on the other. I can reach, just reach on my tippy toes, the center top of the greenhouse. So it's nice and tall. We've got it tightened up quite a bit. We put some rocks all around the perimeter where the tarp goes out kind of like an L on the bottom. I'll show you from the outside but it's already warming up in here and I can just imagine all the things that mom and dad will be able to grow in this greenhouse. I'm pretty impressed with the thickness of the tarp and I do love that it's a little bit shaded with the green kind of checkered pattern that's in the tarp. It just has like a string line in it and it actually seems really, really durable. So I'm excited for that because obviously, you know, we live where it gets pretty windy. Some stronger anchors, but we did anchor it down to some of these parking logs that they had here from previous owners. Remember, mom and dad just moved here. So they still have some things on property from the other people. And then we put some heavy rocks along this side. And then these raised garden beds were already here. And so they're far too heavy. We cannot move them, especially with all the rain we've had. This is just our packaging from this greenhouse. So we can put it in the burn pile. And we're gonna take the soil out so we can actually move the boxes. And then each of these boxes are going to go in the middle. Mom has the net here, but we're gonna line them straight down the middle here. So mom can stand on either side and ha have the raised beds. And then if she has anything that's in pots or anything else, she can put on the side or she can hang some hanging plants or whatever she wants in here. It looks so good. The so trooper and I are gonna go show you the willow patch that <laughs> the trees to plant it. Yeah, come on Trooper. Trooper's doing so good. He's been learning to stay on the property and he doesn't go anywhere. He'll follow you anywhere. He's so cute. He is so young. So this whole area is wild blueberries. This reddish looking stuff you see. Mom's gonna have tons. And this is where mom's planted a whole bunch of different kinds of willow. And she's every time she goes down to the water edge, she's bringing up a couple stones to put around the outside. She's got all different kinds. So these will all be different colors of willow. And then she uses them to make baskets. So this is her first plot. I'll give you an update in a little bit, a couple weeks time or so, month, maybe eight weeks, and show you what this area looks like. The weather managed to hold out for us just long enough for us to get the greenhouse together and set up for mom and dad. The greenhouse is so great. I'll leave all the information if you'd like to get one for your own family down in the description box. It came from Costway, so we wanna say a great big thank you again to Costway for supporting our channel. Another gift for the English family that we can use. And it's so nice for us to be able to spread the love and take something over for mom and dad for their new place. Isn't Trooper adorable? <laughs> We ended our day with a nice little bonfire with mom and dad by the water's edge. Enjoyed watching Trooper and exploring the side of their ocean side. We cannot wait for the warm weather. And now that the greenhouse is here, mom and dad can start their seeds the same we are over here on our property. We're gonna have an abundance of produce. 
So thank you again for being part of today's episode. I love you and I will see you tomorrow in the bathroom renovation.